Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're going to talk about the Dell operator in cylindrical coordinates. Here we have a small volume element in cylindrical coordinates. Notice the distance to the volume element is rho. The change in the distance in the direction of rho is going to be a d rho. The width of that little volume element is going to be rho times d phi because this is along like a circle that goes around the z-axis, so it's going to be the distance to here times the change in the angle, rho d phi, and then in the z-direction is the same as rectangular coordinates, it's the change in the z-direction. So that you can see that a small volume element can be written as the rho, the distance to the volume element, times the change in the angle, times d, d rho, times dz. Also, if we want to express a vector quantity in cylindrical coordinates, we can say that A is equal to the, the rho component times the rho unit vector plus the phi component times the phi unit vector plus the z component times the z unit vector. And now to the del operator. Remember that in rectangular coordinates, the del operator was simply equal to this. It's, it's a vector, it has an x, a y, and a z component, and then the magnitude of the x, y, and z component of the del operator is simply the change of the function. In this case, it will be the change of the vector here with respect to x only. That's why we take the partial derivative, the change of the vector with respect to y, therefore the partial derivative with respect to y, and here again the partial derivative with respect to z. So how do we do that in cylindrical coordinates? Well, it's a little bit different. We still have the three unit vectors. We have rho, phi, and z. Notice that this has to look exactly the same as it does in rectangular coordinates. And here in the row direction, notice that that's a direction perpendicular to the z-axis, straight outward. We're talking about the change in the vector in this direction only. And so that looks a lot like the x direction. It's a linear direction. So we have the row unit vector times the change of the function with respect to rho. And of course, we need to take the partial derivative of that. But now notice the middle term. Here we have the phi unit vector, but here we have a 1 over rho times the change of the function or the change of the vector with respect to phi. What is the 1 over rho for? Well, notice that this distance here depends upon how close or how far away you are from the z-axis. If you're much closer to the z-axis, that rho d phi will be a much smaller value, will be right here. And if you go further out, then you can see that your rho the phi will become a much greater value. So you have to have a change of the vector with respect to phi that's independent of the position away from the z-axis. And the only way to do that is to divide that by rho. If you do that then, 1 over rho times the change of the vector with respect to phi, then you've eliminated the dependency of where it is relative to the z-axis, and then you have the proper form for the del operator. So essentially, that is how we develop the del operator in cylindrical coordinates. And on the next video, we'll do a little example of how to actually use that. That's how it's done.